Now, one more thing that I want to talk about um, is the electric vehicle disruption. So, um, Tesla Model S was the car of the year in 2013, motor trend car of the year. Not the electric car of the year, the car of the year in the United States. Uh, Consumer Reports said this is the best car ever built, ever. Consumer Reports. The Tesla Model S in its category, in it, you know, the 80,000 plus luxury category, is already the best selling car in America. It's outselling Mercedes, it's outselling Audi, BMW, and all of these cars that built luxury brands over 100 years, okay? So, but who can afford an electric vehicle? Now, this is not my car. This is just a photo op, okay? I don't own a Tesla, I don't own any car, actually. Um, But first, let's ask, is the electric vehicle disruptive? Because so it's expensive, so what? So is the Rolls-Royce, so is the Porsche, right? Who cares? Is the electric vehicle disruptive? Let me give you a few reasons why. Number one, the electric motor is five times more energy efficient than the internal combustion engine. Five times. So your car turns 17 to 21% of the energy in gasoline or diesel into kinetic energy. 17 to 21, that's it. An electric motor turns 90, 95% of the energy in the battery into uh, usable kinetic energy. Five times. And there is nothing that Detroit can do about that. There's nothing that Tokyo can do about that. It's called the loss of thermodynamics, okay? So five times more energy efficient. Partly because of that, and the other part because electricity is cheaper than gasoline. You know, moving electricity, moving electrons is far cheaper than moving a physical atom, gasoline, or gas, or coal, or whatever. EVs are 10 times cheaper to charge on a per mile basis than internal combustion engine vehicles, 10 times, okay? Your car, assuming you don't have an EV, by the way, which is an assumption I'm making, some of you might, has 2,000 moving parts. Moving parts, not parts, moving parts. And that's why cars break down so often. I mean, I'm surprised they don't break down more often. 2,000 moving parts, look at them. An electric vehicle, a Tesla Model S, has 18 moving parts. 18, that's a 100X difference, which is why Tesla today offers infinite mile warranty. Infinite. You can drive your car to the moon and back, and they will still warranty the car. That's because these cars don't break down. Electric motors don't break down, and 18 moving parts. I mean, that's a 100x difference. This is disruptive, because maintenance is a huge part of the uh, conventional car company supply chain, value chain. They make a lot of money out of that. So when you put these together, and you know, five other reasons that I mentioned in the book, here's what happens, and this is totally disruptive. So for a hundred years, the car industry has taught us to buy cars on this basis. You want high performance, you want the Porsche, you have to pay high money. You have to pay the hundred, hundred twenty thousand dollars $120,000. You want medium performance, then you pay medium money. You, you, you want little performance, then you pay little money. I mean, basically, the car industry has gone along this along this uh, arrow for 100 years, okay? What the electric vehicle does is this. It moves the price performance curve to a point where you can get the Porsche performance 
for the medium money. And what do you think the market is going to do when you can buy a $40,000 car that has the performance of the Porsche or the $40,000 car that needs gasoline, you know, $4,000 of gasoline plus maintenance plus this and that? Gone. Just like the Tesla is the number one selling in the luxury category when it gets down to 40, not just Tesla, any EV. I mean, in, 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 uh, in some countries, hmm, in Norway, 20% of all new cars are electric. 20% of all new cars are electric. So, you know, it's already entering the mainstream in some markets. So, okay, I'll convince you, I've convinced you, probably many of you, that uh, the EV is disruptive. How long is this disruption going to take? Meaning, when are we gonna get that famous $40,000 car? So, Let's assume that you'll need to be a mainstream car 200 miles, right? 320 kilometers of range. Even, even if we don't need that much, let's assume that you need that much to be a mainstream car, right? I won't take you into the details, but here's what you get. To get a 200 mile electric vehicle today, at today's prices, you have to pay 70 grand. But if we do the cost curve, the 16% cost curve, we're gonna get a $40,000 electric vehicle by 2017, 2018. Meaning that the 40,000 category, gone. Because, you know, these cars are gonna have the performance of a Porsche 911 Carrera, right? For $40,000. By 2020, you will have a $31,000 electric vehicle with 200 mile range. Now, $31,000 is important because that's the cost of the average car in America, new car, okay? So the average car in America, gone by 2020. The industry will be able to produce a $21,000 car by 2022. And why is that important? Because that's the cost of the low-end car in America, $22,000. And EVs are going to keep going down. So the disruption is not gonna end 2022. Now, of course, we own our cars 10 years, so it's not like all the gasoline cars are gonna be off the road by then, but essentially all new cars are gonna be electric. And you know, if you look at the announcements, Tesla has already announced that the, they have a $35,000 car, 2017. It's gonna go 200 miles, and it's gonna be 20% smaller than the Tesla Model S. $35,000, that's less than half. It's actually, a, yeah, it's actually about a half of their current Model S. By 2017, that's only two years away. 